Hello and welcome to my first ever Kerbal Space Program video and the build of my first successful working space plane. That's right, I made a space plane. It got to orbit. It took me two years. Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, um, as you can see, this is me starting to assemble the uh, plane and I'll talk a bit about parts of this I'm going through, but first I want to say thanks to uh, YouTubers such as Marcus House, Mark Thrame, Matt Line, Hot Tips, Tape Gaming, all for, you know, various YouTube videos that I've uh, really enjoyed and some pretty cool guides. So first off on this, uh, as you can see, I'm starting to put together um, my space, space plane body. And I was deciding, ah, maybe I do this nice wee build, I have those things and the wings there. And then I pretty much immediately went, that's too wide. It's nowhere near compact enough. And in the bin it goes. So um, I went with one nuclear engine because once we get enough thrust and we're high enough, we're only going to need a nuke to get to orbit. So I decided to put the wings in and um, add all the uh, control surfaces and stuff like that for the wings. And then I was like, right, we're going to go over and under with this. So the idea is... Uh, nice shape there and we can put on our rapiers and stuff and we can uh, do the same for the underneath the point is um i want as much compact thrust around the nuke as possible i want this plane to be nice and tight it's its idea is it gets to a space station take some kerbals up it's got a docking port it's got a cargo bay for various bits and bobs and it's got space for additional kerbals and of course the crew so take it up to your space station dock it and uh, whatever i don't know how to attach a craft file i'm just learning modding so this is all in stock this is a craft that works in stock on 1.3 so um as you can see i've decided maybe a bit more jet fuel maybe just a touch i'm gonna get on my uh yaw control there Additional wings and then my iron takes. I quite like having this sort of, you know, it's all sleek in body design. Okay, here's uh, how I decide to make my wheels level, right? First, not large wheels, mediums, right? So put the mediums in and then you put your large in the front and then you drop her till one of the sets of the wheels are touching the dirt on uh, your hanger bay and then you sort of make sure they're all level. Now it's strutting time like to make sure these are all strutted up i could of course add the mod auto strut but um stock gameplay so here we go uh, it's all by hand i've got fuel uh, fuel inlets there you know the the pipey things and they make sure the fuel is all spread evenly throughout it at the moment i'm just adding some uh, mono propellant nozzles for directional control up and down left and right because whenever you're docking you want to make sure you can line your craft up nicely and you need mono propellant for that so just uh adjusting everything there so she's nice and even and then the action groups so rapiers go in on one we put the nuke in on three put the uh controls for the uh, rapiers you know toggling it between rocket and uh air breathing on two and I tend to double check what I do whenever I'm doing this I write down all my action groups so you know something's one on a piece of paper one turn them on two switch to rocket rocket mode three nuke four you know um, turn off the air breathing stuff five solar panels all that stuff okay so it's launch time and this is pretty much me going let's go for it i have no idea if this is going to work or not i've just decided what the hell go straight into the launch see what happens first time flying this so uh who knows might work <laughs> fingers crossed don't know what the ideal takeoff speed or anything is on this i've decided just to show you guys as such raw not doing the perfected second flight doing the first oh crap will it work flight I just decided to record it because you never know, it might work. We may be on to a winner. So it takes off. First great success. I'm going to probably um, accelerate these videos. As you can see, the build video was accelerated. I'm going to do the exact same for the flight. And um, if 
various different stages because this took an hour and a half and I'm aiming to have this just under 25 minutes as a video. This is my first time editing one of these. For I did some uh, video play, let's plays of various different stuff uh, a couple of years ago and all I've done on my channel recently is upload things like um, just excerpts of bits of games, funny things I've noticed and things like that. So we're now time accelerating, I'm throwing her up to about 10,000 meters and then I'm leveling her off from about 30 to 20 degrees down to about 10 degrees. I'm going to build up a lot of speed here now, trying to accelerate her. Um, this is all stuff I've learned from other tutorials, better tutorials on how to make space planes. But I'm, I just wanted to do something stock just to show how it can be done really simply um, with plenty of fuel. Now. I'm going to make a mistake here, and this is one nice thing about, I discovered about this plane, mistakes don't kill your op the chances of getting into, you know, orbit. So I've accidentally turned off all the um, uh, rapiers here, because I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, just press that button, it'll work, they'll go to rocket mode. Nope, still stuck in air breathing, why aren't they turning, I'm pressing to, and I got them into close cycle after I turned off the um, intake nozzles. So there must be an automated function. I was not aware that had been added to rapiers. Why steam? Seriously, why? So yeah, we have rocket power. We are gaining lots of thrust. Just go into the map mode here. Just checking out how, uh, how my apoapsis is because I don't have even Kerbal Engineer on this. Just wanted to go, you know, completely stock. So tilting her up, just force the apoapsis up to 70. Turning on the nukes and we're cutting off the rapiers. We're going fast enough now. We've got enough height. It's just a matter of um, keeping our velocity up. So when we get to apoapsis, we're not having to, you know, throw 500 meters per second onto her. We want to have it so we're as close to orbital velocity as possible. Popping up the solar panels because, hey, solar panels are pretty. Anyway, so yeah, we're just burning up here to keep our uh, velocity going and then we're going to cut our, vol our speed soon and time warp. Yeah, we've already cut the, uh, cut the acceleration. So we're time warping, uh, close to the apoapsis. I'm going to check out the map mode and then, you know, cut it short if you want to. If you're like, nah, I need more time, cut it short. Don't worry about it. That's the uh, forward slash key. On my laptop it is. So uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Gain some thrust here and uh, do some flying. So yeah, uh, so it's now just a matter of extending out your um, periapsis so it matches your apoapsis. Uh, whenever we've done this, you'll see I still have plenty of fuel in this uh, craft. If I wanted to, I could throw her up to a higher orbit just to dock her to a space station. I could, uh, if I had a better uh, ascent, I'd have enough, you know, for all that stuff docking, um, uh, rendezvous and all that stuff. So uh, it's one of these things. This is how I sort of test the aircraft uh, uh, craft if I'm doing it. I'm going to put something together in stock, make sure it works, and then I might throw it into one of my modded gameplay files or just rebuild it from what I've learned. But it's a nice way to make sure you know you can do something. So as you can see, we are in orbit. Now, I have this weird thing. I always like if an object uh, uh, crafts in a stable orbit, I like having it sitting on the normal. I'm sort of like, yeah, this is how I'd park something in orbit if I was, you know, the pilot of, of a craft. I put her in normal with the solar panels out. It means, you know, she won't get blocked at any point. The solar panels will always find the sun. Not if they're, you know, directly on access with it. But, you know, it's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. So anyway... I've uh, turned off all the uh, control surfaces and I'm going to have we look at the mono propellant. This is another reason to test something in a sandbox because you will miss something. Always miss something. So what I've noticed here, I'm going to notice in a second, is that I've got my pitch and yaw for mono propellant all okay. And I can push her um, flat, I can push her down and I can pull her up, which is great for docking. I suddenly realise I can't move her sideways and that's a problem if you're trying to line her up to a docking port so at the end of this i'm going to add a couple of more monopropellant things onto it which will be able to take care of that but 
effectively she's a Finnish space plane um, so we're probably going to uh, name her and because I have a long suffering girlfriend who has to deal with me doing a lot of gaming I tend to name things I like after her in one way or other so this uh, craft is going to be called the Amzo One um, Amzo is her nickname so uh, yeah just mucking about seeing how strong the reaction wheels are they're pretty strong it's it's a small enough craft so you know it's good as a tra uh, crew transport to orbit and it's not that expensive so in a career mode you know if you don't no longer want to muck around with rockets and you just wanted to swap crew out something like this will do the job though you do have to kind of be at the end of the tech tree <laughs> for the rapiers or at least have the rapiers unlocked um, I might try some, now I've done my first successful space plane, I might try some lower tech space planes, just to see how they work. But yeah, this is renaming her. Because, um, yeah, what the hell. I've also named in certain playthroughs space stations after family members and stuff like that. Because it's fun, it makes me giggle, and I'm sort of like, Mum's off to Juna. <laughs> And then I tell them and they sort of look at me and go, why? <laughs> I'm like, it amuses me. So yeah, right. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and uh, put down a maneuver node here. So she drops us on um, or close to the Kerbal Space Center. Now, I only noticed this afterwards, but I sort of, you know, fast forward to the maneuver node, go through my burn and then realize, the planet rotated under me. But, so I figure, right, what I'll do is I just won't do the complete maneuver burn. I will do part of it and hopefully the atmosphere slows me down. So this is me just turning her around, rotating her and um, reorientating her for descent, pulling in the solar panels. Solar panels are expensive. Do not lose them in atmospheric re-entry. Pull the craft off up so she's ready for hitting the atmosphere. And I'm going to move some fuel around. I kind of want to push the fuel up to the middle section just to push the center mass further away from the center lift so she won't flip out on me. That's generally a good idea if you're doing your uh, plane. Have it so that you can push fuel up, pump it up to the, as far to the front as possible because you're uh, you want your center lift to be just behind the center of mass. So when you're hitting the atmosphere, she won't just rotate or spin or go into a flat spin or tumble or whatever they like to do to mess with you. So uh, as you can see, I am getting close to having that finished. Just forgetting to press Alt key repeatedly because I'm going, I'm getting closer to the bottom here. I'm going to hit the atmosphere soon and I have none of this done. Why? Why did I not think ahead? Such is the way of... We'll go ASP, turning on all my control surfaces again. You can probably put this in action groups with a mod, but again, stock's fun. At times, stock's fun to really test yourself. Um, the only really mods I like are ones that add additional sort of uh, planets or parts or, you know, something like that. It is my aim at some point to do a life support mod, but I might need to get a bit better at flying and bringing people back in time and keeping track of crafts. There's been times people have been on Minmus for like 20 years while I'm going to duel just because hey, you're there, you're not going to die, enjoy it. So as you can see, we're starting our atmospheric re-entry. Um, so we're going to be experiencing the atmosphere soon. That's fun. Oh, by the way, it took two hours for this video to render pre-render for me to do the voiceover before that it was like in that flip show thing premiere does at times and i was like thanks guys you're uh two hours just staring at my laptop like and if i turn anything else on on the laptop the time will just increase but it, it looks pretty it's a pretty render i think it looks nice so yeah um so the front of her is a wee bit hot, so I'm just sort of trying to move her about just to, you know, make sure she doesn't get too hot. I suppose if it was getting to a dangerous level, I could flip her out, spin her, whatever, just, you know, anything to dissipate that heat away from the front section so she doesn't uh, crash and burn. 
or explode, which would be sad. That would kill Jeb, and Jeb likes doing impressive, dangerous things, but also landing safely. So yeah, um, we're just rocking our way. Thankfully, we're dropping velocity like a, like you know, you do in atmospheric reentry. So hopefully, we shouldn't heat the cockpit up anymore. Just you know, um, we have another three. Now, I've overshot the Kerbal Space Center by a lot. So I've decided to throw the center of mass back a wee bit, just because I'm going. I'm no longer having to worry about re-entry. It's now all about nice, stable flight, getting our arses back to the ground. So we're throwing our uh, fuel back a wee bit, just for just for the fun of it. Yeah. So as you can see, successfully re-entered. Now it's just a matter of uh, turning it around, Pointing her at the Kerbal Space Center, which is always fun at this velocity. You're a bit like, if I push this too far out, she's going to fall out, fall into a flat spin, and I'm going to recover about 500 meters above the ground. And I don't think I'll pull up at that stage because I have had that happen before. I'm like, 20,000 meters, time to do a turn, and then it all goes to hell. And at about 1,000 meters, I've got just gained control again and i hit the dirt at about 600 meters per second banks game <laughs> so anyway successfully turned around and we're just gradually pointing back to the Kerbal space center so i'm gonna have to flip in and out of map mode just to work out where the Kerbal space center is because that's always fun you're like uh where am i and then where am i going okay so i seem to be going more north than that always that sucks so uh trying to figure out which way i need to turn so yeah i definitely need to pull a bit of a left turn or is that port or star i have no idea left going left a bit and then straight on so one thing is with this flight with this plane it's nice because you can do your you know physical time warp while you're burning and she doesn't flip out, she doesn't complain, she just flies. You're like, wee, ha <laughs> ha. Lots and lots of speed, which is a bonus because flying can be really boring in the atmosphere. You could literally walk away, have something to eat, come back and you're like, covered a thousand meters along. That's not fast enough. So yeah, the small fact you can do the time warp acceleration is good. But you do need a stable craft to pull that off. So just just uh, recorrecting course and some more time warp. Now, landing is not a talent of mine. I can land a craft at Kerbal Space Center, but getting to the runway is always a little bit of a trick. So if you notice a quick save and then a reload here, that's because I'm not great at editing out the whole, I saved and here's me landing again. I decided just to show it. And then I'm gonna have, at the end, you'll see the multiple attempts to try and get her to the ground, which is always, always entertaining. I'm just, you know, a wee blooper reel at the end, just many, many, many attempts. There's the first one where I landed on the grass, and then there's the trying to get to the runway. It's so small, and I veer all over the place. It's like, hit the runway. You hit the runway. The runway's tiny. It's so narrow. So, yeah. Trying to line line it up. She's, she's very maneuverable. A bit too maneuverable. As you can tell. Just going to fire the rapiers on and off here as i'm descending just you know to uh, try and get her ready and there's the quick load so yeah okay right kill the rapiers pull her in slow her down a wee bit all right okay left a bit no right <sighs> by the way this is not a not a good runway landing but it is very importantly is a runway landing Maybe right a bit. I seem to be drifting here. Okay, right a bit. Right a bit. Ground's getting closer. I'm going to need to level her out. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Great success. Ha ha. Hit the dirt. 
and break. And then get Jebediah out for a week's celebratory, hop about and, you know, fun. But I think for the initial flight, this went well. Come on, Jebediah, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Landy, landy, land. Um, I've always wanted to do this in real life if I ever done something cool on a plane climb on the top and jump up and down I am from Belfast it's inbred to me so yeah that's that done right so I'm just going to put the um, model propellant parts onto the sides of her just to give us our sideways movement when we're trying to dock and so that's two there and then right there in that passenger module I'm going to add another two just because that'll keep the craft level as she's going left to right on docking and effectively that's it that is my space plane saved for posterity so I can uh, move the craft file if I'm doing a playthrough or something and I've unlocked all the parts sorted now as promised the bloopers the many attempts to uh, successfully land on the runway as I so elegantly just did <laughs> oh. so I think we start with the one where I'm like yes runway awesome I'm gonna hit the runway this is perfect. This is, I am not making the runway. And then how do we sort of, okay, well, I'll land here. Now, do I do a runway landing? I did do a quick save, so I have the option to try and try again. So I do. Things get worse. But anyway, enjoy. Thanks for watching. And again, thanks to those guys I've watched who have done awesome tutorials and shown many things that have sort of inspired me in my own game to try more and more complicated stuff and I hope you liked the video if you watch the video um, if you make it to the end yay it's a pretty simple space plane it has been inspired by other people's builds but it is my own craft I'm not copying anyone here I don't think I really hope I'm not subconsciously copying anyone that would suck anyway thanks for watching and enjoy Bye.